Okay, so we're gonna be making gingerbread Yule Log cookies and they're gonna be gluten free. So, so first we gotta do is preheat the oven to 350. Done, simple. So, we gotta do the dry ingredients first in a large bowl, separate. So we need three and one third cups of flour. Gluten free flour. Yep, I said that. Okay, gluten free. Did, did you do the one cup? No. We'll have to do six of these. That's four, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh, you forgot your salt. I'll let you do your salt the way you like to do your salt. Let me just open it up and do it. It's a less easier. Half. Yeah. Half a teaspoon. No, oh, I thought that was tablespoon. TBSP is supposed to be tablespoon. Oh, sorry. Half a tablespoon. <laughs> well, half I want to add an extra tablespoon. cinnamon on these. I have one tablespoon. I have a half a tablespoon. Well, then just do half of what it is. Just measure it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not rocket science. It's bacon. Okay. And then three-fourths a teaspoon of you. Three spoons. What? Yeah, I need some ginger, so get in the bowl. <laughs> Which finger you want? <laughs> um, come here. We'll take. I think the thumb's about right. Ginger. How much? Three fourths. Of a cup. Three fourths of a teaspoon. Oh. A teaspoon. Teaspoon. I don't think we have a three quarter tisp. We have a. Do a half, half and a quarter. Half tisp and a quarter tisp. There, there you go. go. So I said, put your thumb in. I'll have naturally organic ginger. All natural. Chemically damaged. Did you get the brown sugar out in the pantry? Um, nope. Okay. That's what we're missing. Nope, that's not you need to do your salt. Oh, well, you gotta get a measurement first. Then you put a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> Half a teaspoon of bacon powder. Half a teaspoon of bacon powder. Powder. No, you've never mm. made these before, so it's gonna be interesting how they actually come out. That's it for that, so I'm gonna whisk this together. Try to put Puggy in too? Mm-hmm. I don't think Puggy tastes so good. Dot Dot, do you think it will taste good? Can you put Puggy in? If you put Puggy in, come here. No Pug. <laughs> okay, now the white ingredients. They're going here, right? Yeah, there's no eggs. 
Okay. That's weird. Okay, combine the light corn syrup. Okay, there's a trick with corn syrup. You get it out of the container. Pour it. You want to spray it. Hmm? You spray the measuring cup. So three fourths cup. Yeah, if you spray this first, it will pour it out easier. So it won't stick. So hmm? fill it all up. Three quarters of a cup, that's a lot. That's why there's another bottle somewhere. Or is that still in the pantry? Mm, yeah, it's still in the pantry. We should have enough. Keep going. Wait, don't put it in there. You have to put it on the stove. On the stove? Yeah, you have to put it on the stove. Ooh. You cook it down or something? That's what it says. You want that big pan that little bit? What does it do? Oh, large shot. Oh, because you're going to add a bunch of other stuff to it, too. Sorry. I don't know. I thought we were just cooking that in it. Okay. We're going to pour this. Careful. And then, how much butter? The butter has to go in here, too. Uh, a stick? Is that what it says? Yep. A whole stick? This is a, uh, eight something. Oh, half a cup. That's a whole stick. Yep, so. Is that supposed to be a medium heat? Mm -mm. Medium heat until margarine is melted. Right, brown sugar, margarine, large saucepan. Oh, yours in butter. Yeah, I don't do I don't do margarine. Um, and brown sugar, light brown Salted sugar. Salted butter. So two thirds of a cup. Of what? Light brown sugar. Mm. So you need two of these. Two thirds of a cup. Yep. And then you want to eat some the cheese after. How much? Half a cup. It's 15 calories per teaspoon. So we're counting calories here, right? No. Okay, and this you have to do it until it's melted. This is going to be a while. This is gonna be in here too, the butter melts. And then we add it to that. Then we add the cream cheese and then you mix it. Ay, ay, ay. You have to let this chill? Yeah, for 15 minutes. So it says to pull this in here. Weird recipe. This isn't good, it's all your fault. Hmm. I found it on the internet. It's gotta be real. Okay. It says to stir with the spoon and then add the cream cheese. Mix well with the spoon. And then hands. And then hands as dough becomes stiff. Yeah, Show the toe until it's there. easy to handle, 10 to 15 minutes approximately. I'm just gonna be done my hand though, because it's. It's gonna be hot. Hmm? It's gonna be hot. It won't mix it. <laughs> yeah, let me do. It's not that bad. You don't treat it. Yum.
How many tries is that now? Two. I'm gonna lay it down. Yep. And the pug took off with the plastic wrap. Okay, so now this is gonna chill for 10 to 15 minutes. Can you try to fry it up or fry it down? No, we already have them ready. Really snowball. Hi, hi, hi. I think it wasn't even in the fridge. <laughs> okay, chill the dough needs a handle, roll the dough up to one inch thickness on parchment paper. Thank you. I don't know what my eat. I'll figure it out. <laughs> you have problems with sticking to the gluten free? Mm -mm. Mm. I have a problem with it rolling out because it's gluten free. Because mm. without the gluten, you're losing the molecule that makes everything sticky. Rubbery. There's some glue in it. You can't put glue in it. So you want a 10? By five or six. Well, what is it? Five or six? I have an idea in my okay. <laughs> one eighth inch thick. Wow, that's thin. Yeah, because you're going to roll it. Okay. Oh, maybe we should trim it and. Uh... Just hold your horses. Oh, he says you should get three rectangles, ten by three. Three of these rectangles, you want them ten by ten by six. Oh, okay. I'm good. I got it. I just gotta get, we gotta get, oh, seriously. <laughs> we just gotta get three squares. So I just gotta roll it out till I get three even squares. Okay. I have a pizza cutter. That would be the best thing. Mm. What would it be? Let's see. Not in this one. Okay. So. Can you grab a bowl for the asses? Is it extra? Extra. Yeah, let's try to make it square because I'm going to make three of them. It also said if it, if it looks rustic, it's fine because then it will really look like a piece of. Um, Log. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks pretty square. Mm -hmm. Let me cut it in threes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ruler. <laughs> well, now you want my ruler. You want my ruler earlier. Let's see how it's 16? Five and a half. Five and a half? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. Pretty close. I actually know about it five if you want a little bit. Oops. We got it five and a half. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, now what do we do? <laughs> <coughs> okay, squeeze. Squeeze the juice in the lime. And, okay, let me see the lime. So, how you always get a, a lime zest is you roll it. You can either roll it on the counter or stick it in the microwave for like 20 seconds. But if you roll it, you get all those juices going inside of it. So, uh, but first we need to zest it. And to each rectangle, dividing into three rectangles. <coughs> then I'm going to come to the edges. Oh, we're going to need two of these. So we're going to need half a cup. The well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zest the lime. You put the lime in the... Yeah, we're not getting demonetized. Well, not that we are demonetized, but maybe someday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't put it in there. I'm not. I'm putting okay. it in here. I'll just put it down there to get it okay. out of the way. It's sweating me. I think it's going nice with the zest, right? Yes. Yeah. Squeeze in the Okay. Let's that's about a half a cup. Yeah, that's gonna go in here. Uh, let's put it off the paper just in case I miss it. Let's see. Okay. Well we didn't need another jar that we ran out to the store for. That's okay. We'll need it next time. that together so the lime gets in the color. Scoot these. Separate them a little bit. Fragile. Why are you doing it? Weird. Now I'm just going to spread it out. <coughs> Evenly. Carefully thinning as you become to the edges. It doesn't look like it's enough. A little bit more. Hold on. I want it stuck on the okay. How much does it say to use? A half cup. Okay, you might only use three quarters of a cup. See? 
Okay. And then what we do with that afterwards? Seam down. Seam side down. Okay, then what? Cut it up into fours or something? Cut each large log into four smaller logs. And grab the baking sheet. Um, I don't know if that's what you do yet. Yeah. Hatch lines, butter knife to make it look real. Bake, yep. X lines? We just make lines to make it look like real wood. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Just like that, yep. Yeah. Okay. Then put a baking sheet? Mm hmm. Okay, grab the baking sheet. Now these will cook for 15 to 18 minutes and then we're going to work on the frosting next. How much powder sugar? Powdered <laughs> sugar. Three quarters cups. Three quarters of cups. One. These are all one fourth. Two. Three. And the lime juice? Yep. Mm -hmm. Add it to the lime juice. Yes, Snowball, everybody hears you. Hi, baby! Hi, baby! No, hi, baby. Put the glaze into a Ziploc bag and cut a small opening in the corner to drizzle the glaze over the cookie logs. Um, can you grab me some warm water? <laughs> just... Right, I'll grab just a little bit. On the bottom of it, there is a bag, a pastry bag. Bottom drawer? Yep. And these? Yep. So you want your glaze to be thin, but not too thin. And thick, but not too thick. It's when you can make grapes with it, you see that is how you know that it's perfect. Just add a tiny little drop of water and people are going to be at the perfect consistency. See that? So, pour that into a pastry bag. And that's what it looks like when you get in your bag, but we're not going to do anything with it yet because we got to wait for the cookies to cool down a little bit. These cooked forever, like a lot longer than they were supposed to. I zoomed you in closer so you guys can see them as I put them on the cookie sheet. So I'm going to grab them. I think they cook for like a half an hour. I would suggest honestly making these like half the size because they're huge. So, but I'm just going to put them here so when we drizzle them, it doesn't make a huge mess. Hot, top, top. Hot tamales. <laughs> Aren't they cute? This thing is the the frosting, the glaze that we made earlier. So I just put in the pastry bag, so I'm just gonna tip it upside down and cut off the top. And it tells you just to drizzle the glaze over the cookie logs. Okay, so I'm gonna drizzle. And why I put the pa parchment paper down so there's no messy cleanup afterwards, it just all drips down onto that. And do that and on the top you're supposed to put um these little yeah these little poly candies and the berries let me just get them one more time they're not perfect they're not perfect they're supposed to be rustic yeah back in the old days they used real holly they had to eat real holly I 
I need more berries. Aha, got berries. <laughs> You can do it. It's like a big snot running down the side of it. Oh, that works. Two berries. That's a bumper. I'm putting two of them. I don't know if you're gonna fit two of them on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them cool. Yep. I want to try one. Yeah, too. Probably hot. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Are they good? No, they're horrible. You'll hate it. Don't eat it. It'll be poison. Poison. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Little cookie. We're gonna do some Yulmas. Can say hi? Hmm? You see how cute you are? You want me cookies with mama? You want me cookies? No. You want a cookie? I just go cookies. Wait, did you turn into a cookie? Yeah. Those are cool cookies. Thank you.